Ten All-Ireland Talent Show champion. Thousands turned out at five audition centres across the country, hoping to go forward and impress their head judges and become one of the eight acts that would represent each region in this year's live competition. Get ready to hear the rebels roar! This week it's the turn of the South to rise up and shoulder arms for battle. The monster has the moon. The monster roar echoed round the banks of the Lee as hundreds of acts from the Banner to the Jaysha and every county in between massed on Cork, hoping they might go forward to represent the South. Be it man, woman, child or beast, the variety on show offered rich pickings for head judge John Creedon, which was welcome news for the South's proud commander-in-chief, who is looking for a talent that can go one better than last series' second place finish. I stood there with Little Jack. The ultimate prize was just within touching distance. And then I heard the verdict. The Mulcairn brothers! Heart dropped, did drop. But I knew I had a hero. A hero in my arms anyway, Little Jack. I just say it's a huge privilege to be asked to represent Munster again. It's actually a very big responsibility. I mean, if I was to leave someone behind in the auditions who could win this, what kind of clown am I? This year I'm coming back stronger. A lot of people in the South are hurting. Tipperary were robbed of the hurling final this year. Cork didn't win the football. I really want to see a huge turnout for the auditions. And I'm going to filter that down until I find myself eight diamonds. And I'm going to build myself a crown. That's it. Rose, who's hoping his love of percussion and a little box of tricks can take him to the big stage. Well, I'm proud of our tradition, and I'm a proud Irishman, a proud cockman. I'll try to, uh, to show here, it's, it's a good passion for Irish music, and Irish music will never, never die. Are you guys? What's yes. this? Of course, nails. Sheep's nails. Nails? Nails, yes. Well, I got a present of from a friend of mine. Did you? They must have really liked you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> long time since I've seen anybody playing the spoons with that ability. You're passionate about your music, you're yeah. passionate yeah. about keeping traditional music yeah. alive. It's an Irish culture yeah. that can't be beaten. Yeah. It's about entertainment first and foremost. Yeah. And a guy sitting there on his Todd playing the spoons, it's a bit bare, it's a bit exposed. If I were to ask you to come back tomorrow and try and show me even more variety in two minutes, would you? No problem. See you tomorrow, sir. Johnny, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Take the nails we'll get a look at tomorrow. Do will ya? Do will ya? Okay. Anyway, my friends are right. This is what I do. This is what I do now in my life. I have everything ready for you. I have all the campaign ready. Everything's ready to go. Of the three proud traditional acts left, how many will John deem strong enough to take on the other regions? The trad bar is really high. There's a lot of very, very good traditional dancers out there. A lot of very traditional musicians. I have eight places. That's all I can do. So my decision as head judge is you will not be representing the South in the All-Ireland Talent Show. Be representing the South in the All Ireland Talent Show. <sighs> My decision as head judge, Johnny, is yes, you will be representing the South in the All Ireland Talent Show. You're on your way, John. You're on your way. Fantastic. That's great. Congratulations. Oh, that's really, really good. Thank you very much. You're thrilled. Oh, great. Fantastic. Hi, my name is um, Johnny Bowers Harvin. I've uh, entered the Island Tennis Show and uh, I got down to uh, John Creedon's last eight. And I would like to um, ask you, everyone who's watching my Bebo page and my YouTube page, that I would appreciate all the votes on the 10th of January for the latest shows on RTE1 at 6.30. I would like to uh, ask you for your votes 
I'm not text rich displays and thank you.